A couple of months ago, I shared with you my discovery of this amazing little device, the Flextail Tiny Bike Pump. You can see the full review and what I thought of it right there. In that video, many of you commented on some of the features that I really wish this had and suggested some other brands that had those missing features. So, based on your suggestions, I reached out to a few other companies and they were kind enough to send me over some of their pumps to evaluate in the ultimate mini bike pump shootout. For this challenge, we have the pump that started it all for me, the Flextail Tiny Bike Pump. And then from Psych Plus, we have the Psych Plus AS2, similar size, slightly bigger uh, with a screen on the back, and that's a gauge. We have the Psych Plus AS2 Pro. And wrapping up the Psych Plus line, we have the Psych Plus AS2 Pro Max. See how that one performs. And biggest of all, we have the Fantic Ace 9. Is bigger better? We'll find out. And to show you just how deep down this electric bike pump rabbit hole I went, there's one other that I've been taking a look at. This is the Fantic Ace 9 Ultra, and it's ultra. It's certainly bigger than all the others. I'm not gonna throw this in a jersey pocket. And because of that, I think this warrants a separate review all its own. So there'll be more on this later. But for these pumps, I've defined eight categories I'll be using to evaluate them. Those categories are size, weight, speed, noise, battery life, accuracy, heat, and overall features. I'll be evaluating each category individually, declaring a winner of each category, and then I'll declare the ultimate winner overall, which is the best mini electric bike pump. Clearly, I have a lot of testing to do, so I better get started. I smell a montage coming. Now for a quick rundown on features. They're all powered by USB-C. They all include a battery life indicator, except for the Flextail. That's the only one that does not tell you how much battery life is remaining. The Pro, the Pro Max, and the X9 all include a gauge. So you can set it to a specific tire pressure, turn it on, and it'll auto stop when that pressure is reached. Also the top three include a hose. On the Fantic X9, that hose is permanently attached. And on the Psych Plus AS2 Pro and AS2 Pro Max, that hose is detachable, which is pretty handy. So you can screw it on and use it as a hose or detach it and just quickly attach the pump. I generally don't bring the hose on rides just because it's something extra to bring and lose and it works just fine without. As for pressures, they range from 100 PSI for the Flextail to 120 PSI for the Psych Plus Pro and Pro Max, and then a whopping 150 PSI for the Fantic X9 Ace. When comparing head to head, let's start off looking at size. The AS2 is the smallest, measuring in at 65 by 46 by 28 millimeters, while the Fantic is by far the largest, measuring in at 107 by 80 by 38 millimeters. So there is very minimal difference between the Flextail, the Psych Plus AS2, and the Psych Plus AS2 Pro. The AS2 Pro being the biggest of those three, but not by a whole lot. Really the AS2 Pro Max and the Fantic are the two that kind of stand out in size. When it comes to weight, again, the Psych Plus AS2 being the smallest is also the lightest, weighing in at 95 grams. Close behind is the Flextail, weighing in at 111 grams, and the Psych Plus AS2 Pro at 119 grams. The Pro Max, 205 grams, and lastly, the Fantic coming in at 386 grams. None of them are super heavy, but there's clearly a difference between the smallest and the biggest. This next category is a little interesting. Noise. You know, how loud are they? They're all pretty loud, but really that doesn't impact performance. But if you want to find the quietest, the Fantic is clearly the winner. If I turn that on, it's a very distinctively different sound than all the rest. When you compare that to the Psych Plus AS2, and really all of these sound similar. Both tone and volume is nicer on the Fantic. Though it does sound like the Fantic pump is actually running slower, which might impact performance. We'll find out. So what about speed? That's probably the most important factor here when looking at an electric mini pump. The fastest of the bunch 
was the Psych Plus AS2 Pro Max, inflating a 29 by 2.4 inch tire to 22 PSI in 59 seconds, and then a 700 by 43 millimeter tire to 38 PSI in 41 seconds. Really, it was very, very close between that and the Psych Plus AS2 Pro. The Pro did the mountain bike tire in slightly less time at 55 seconds and then the gravel tire at slightly longer at 53 seconds. And the slowest of the bunch was the Fantic X9 Ace at 118 seconds and 101 seconds respectively. And that does go in line with what I was saying earlier where the sound of the pump sounded just like it's running slower. Next to speed, battery life is the most important thing. How many times can it inflate a tire? For this test, I used my mountain bike tire because it had the highest volume, which is 29 by 2.4, again, inflating that to 22 PSI. Both the Flextail Tiny Bike Pump and the Psych Plus AS2, they were able to inflate a tire twice. Then the Psych Plus AS2 Pro inflated it four times. The Pro Max it got up to seven times. And then the Fantic X9 Ace was able to inflate my tire a whopping 11 times, making it the clear winner in this category. Now let's talk accuracy. The first two, the Flextail and the Psych Plus AS2, neither of them have a gauge, so they're already out. But the other three, they all have a gauge. Now, they all claim plus or minus one PSI accuracy. I found both the AS2 Pro and AS2 Pro Max were over-reporting pressure by three PSI when compared to my Topeak pressure gauge. And the Fantic X9 Ace was over-reporting pressure by one PSI, so within that advertised plus or minus one PSI. And the clear winner in this category, the Fantic X9 Ace. This category is a bit of a weird one, heat. I never really thought about heat before, but these electric pumps do generate heat. The Flextail and the entire Psych Plus line all include silicone cases with them. These silicone cases help protect your hand from that heat. They still get hot, but you don't feel it as much. So to test these, I inflated my gravel tire to 38 PSI and then used a laser temperature gauge to find the hottest point on the valve and the pump. The flex tail came in at 40 degrees Celsius, 104 Fahrenheit. The Psych Plus AS2 came in at 54 degrees Celsius, 130 Fahrenheit. The Psych Plus AS2 Pro came in at 53 Celsius, 127 Fahrenheit. The Psych Plus AS2 Pro Max came in at 48 degrees Celsius, 118 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the Fantic came in at 36 degrees Celsius, 96 Fahrenheit, by far the lowest of the bunch and the clear winner in this category. Another interesting fact about the AS2 Pro Max and heat is it actually overheated while I was doing the multiple tire inflation test. I had to stop and wait for it to cool down multiple times before I could complete the seven inflations. Now let's take a quick look at price. The Flextail Tiny Bike Pump came in at 76.99 US dollars. The AS2 came in at $71.99. The AS2 Pro is $109.99. AS2 Pro Max is $129.99. And the biggest of them all, the Fantic X9 Ace, is also the cheapest at just $49.97. The clear winner in this category. Much to my surprise, the Fantic X9 Ace won five of the eight categories. But is it the one I use? Not so much. I find myself bringing the Psych Plus AS2 with me on rides. It didn't win a single category, but it scored well in all of them. It's really the perfect combination of size and functionality. It fits well in a jersey pocket or a frame bag. It's easy to use and it's there when I need it. The battery gauge plus pressure gauge is exactly what I need to have high confidence when using it out on the trail. That said, the X9 is something that I use quite a bit. I just use it at home in the shop. This has replaced my floor pump. When I need to pump up my tires before I ride, this is what I grab rather than my floor pump or really any of these other pumps. If you're interested in trying any of these devices yourself, I have affiliate links in the description below. This ensures that you can get the best price possible while also helping out the channel because I get a small kickback for every sale. In addition, Psych Plus has provided a 5% coupon code, so that's in the description below as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the trails.